Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a route and troubleshooting video practice exam for you today. I'm going to show you the question on the whiteboard here on the screen in about 15-20 seconds. And then we're going to see the actual command that I'm using in the question on live equipment. We'll see the result and then we'll go from there and see what kind of troubleshooting we got to get done. So there's a whole lot going on in today's particular question. So let's go ahead and hit it. The question itself is kind of short. Consider the following redistri redistribution config. You should also consider how to say redistribution. So I'm going to do this on the live equipment as well, but you can see we get a little message that says only classful networks will be redistributed. How can we redistribute our non-classful networks? And even if you think you know the answer to that one, stick around because I got a really good demo here for you to help you know when to troubleshoot as well or what to look out for in this particular case. I've got a point-to-point -point network, OSPF network, set up between routers 1 and 3. Nothing's being advertised yet. The adjacency is there, but of course, as I'm always saying, trust but verify. And there we go. These are ones that I took down before the lab started. They're going to stay there for a little while because of the neighbor commands. So let's go ahead and take a look at our config as far as the loopbacks go that we're going to be redistributing. And, you know, you could take a look at that, and I'm sure you would notice a very important difference between networks 5, 6, and 7. And what we're going to do is just a simple redistribute connected just like I had on the board. So let's go ahead and do that. There's the full command, and there's the message you should expect to see. Only classful networks will be redistributed. Now, of course, in the field, it would be very unlikely that you did this, and then you called yourself to come in and troubleshoot it. And that, of course, is the challenge of troubleshooting, is that we're coming in on the middle of everything. And we're also coming in on the middle of everything, and something's wrong. So what you should look out for is something like this. When you know that you are redistributing multiple routes, you know, when redistribution doesn't work, we're used to seeing what? We're used to seeing none of the routes. But what you have to watch out for is something like this, where you actually see some of the routes. And this is that other connected network. What we're really interested in here, this is the redistributed network, 500 slash 8. So you could look at this and say, well, redistribution's working, but what's going on here? Because as we, when we looked at router 1, we did a redistribute connected. We had three different networks we expected to see here. And the simple fact is, and it's really easy to overlook, is that we ran redistribute connected. And the router told us that only classful networks are going to be redistributed. But now we got to know how to get around that. Fortunately, it's a really easy fix. Redistribute connected, and this is another good troubleshooting tip. If you have something kind of bizarre like this, and the first time you see it, you know, it's a little strange. Because like I said, we're used to seeing either all the routes or none of them. We're not used to seeing one of them or two of them. Always look at your options behind that command. And the option that we're looking at, and here's that word again, subnets is the word we want. Consider the subnets for redistribution into OSPF. I'm going to do a save there, and we're going to come back and look at the config there in just a moment. But let's go over to router 3, take a look, and there they are. So now we're seeing the non-classful networks that we expected to see. OSPF is the only protocol that you have to watch that with. EIGRP doesn't have the subnets option, uh, and neither does RIP. Of course, they have other things we have to worry about with redistribution. We'll get to those in other videos. Let's go over to router 1 and take a quick look at the config right now. And what you're going to see under the OSPF config, I believe, actually you do just to see redistributed connected subnets. Sometimes in some iOSs you would see one line that said redistribute connected and then another one that says redistribute connected subnets. In that case, I would get rid of the redistribute connected command just to keep the config clean. Uh, not a necessity, but it is something to look out for. But that is exactly how you solve that particular issue. Thanks for watching today's video practice exam. I've got plenty of other other CCNP route and T-shoot videos for you out on our YouTube channel and I post new ones on the blog and Twitter all the time. So I look forward to seeing you there. I'm Chris Bryant and thanks for making us part of your CCNP success story.